stick with what you know. What's going on everyone? My name is Mike and welcome to my channel. I'm talking about VV collectibles so far in this channel and this is what I'm gonna to continue to be talking about. So if you enjoy this content, please give me a like, subscribe if you want more from this, my journey on VV, what I've done since I started till now and moving forward. I think it's really important on VV to not get carried away in hype and not feel like you're missing out on anything when you hear news about something or you see a collectible skyrocketing in value. I think the most important thing you should be doing is sticking to with what you know. So on VV, you'll see loads of different brands, everything from Marvel, DC, comics to Disney statues and so much more. But I think the most important thing for you with getting these collectibles is sticking with what you know and that's where you'll do best on the marketplace not necessarily drops because it's really difficult to get a drop but even if there's something coming out in a drop maybe you should just try it try to get it even if you don't quite know it see where the prices go maybe sell off because it's not necessarily a collectible that you want but at least when you are purchasing on the marketplace and speculating on where a price might be going in the future I think it's super important to stick with what you know so for my example I know Marvel, I know DC, I know a little bit of Disney. That's kind of what I'm sticking with. I'm sticking in my wheelhouse of what I know. And I try to keep on top of Marvel news, DC news, things that are coming down the pipeline, things that might be catalysts for prices to go up on certain collectibles. So I know when a movie is coming out, a TV show has been announced, or even some sort of news is coming down the pipeline for Marvel, for DC, about shows, movies, I can speculate that that news and especially when that content comes out that the price of this collectible is going to go up in value so for example i talked about my iron man collectible and i talked about that I'm gonna hold on to my Iron Man collectible. It cost me 60 gems, I got it on the drop, I was extremely lucky, I'm super happy to have that Iron Man golden statue, but I'm not gonna do anything with it. It's gonna sit in my vault, I have no plans to sell it whatsoever. If I can get more golden statues, that's kind of my goal that I wanna to work towards. But when it comes to that Iron Man statue, it's staying in my vault, and I know that even though the price has gone up extraordinary, it's somewhere around 2.5 thousand gems at the moment to purchase in the marketplace, and I know that there's quite likely no catalyst for that price to go is skyrocketing unless more demand comes into the market on Vivi for an Iron Man golden statue, which is likely. And it is something that is extremely amazing to have and People may want that as well moving forward with Vivi as Vivi gets more users coming into it, but there's no catalyst like a movie coming out for Iron Man or a TV show or any news really. The only news that we have is that there might be a variant of Iron Man possibly played by Tom Cruise in the next Doctor Strange movie, but perhaps that's just a cameo. We might see the price go up just a little bit from that catalyst, but if you ask me, I think that's just gonna be a cameo. It's gonna be over and done with. And then there's not much Iron Man coming out after this, so perhaps that's not gonna cause the Iron Man price to go up. So why would I hold on to it? Well, I think it's just an amazing piece. It's a golden statue, it's a Disney release, and I think that's enough for me to know that, you know what, this is something I'm gonna hold on to, as opposed to any other collectible that I purchase and have a game plan to sell it at a later point. But knowing Marvel, and knowing the news that is coming to me through Marvel, through that, and just sticking to with what I know, I can make those decisions with my collectibles in my vault. I can choose then to be more strategic with the collectibles that I'm purchasing, if I'm purchasing them to be able to sell them at a later date. Now that's not true with every collectible. Not every collectible you're gonna purchase just to sell it and flip it for more money later on. Perhaps that's just a collectible that you wanna keep in your vault. It's some Something that you are really interested in but then that comes back to sticking with what you know I'll give you another example I really like spider-man and it turns out many other people really like spider-man I purchased two of the Ben Riley spider-man collectibles in anticipation that in October when the across the spider-verse movie comes out that Ben Riley is gonna be in it or possibly the next one which is gonna cause that collectibles price to go up in value so I went ahead and bought two of those and I'll talk about that in another video my game plan with that and why I did that. Well, once again, that's me sticking with what I know and I know Marvel, I know DC, at least it's something that I know most of on the VV platform. I'm not claiming to be an expert by any means on Marvel, but it is something that interests me and it is what I know best when it comes to collectibles on the VV platform. So if there's any advice that I would ask you to follow, it would 
would be stick with what you know. Not necessarily on the drop, go for every drop that you possibly can and maybe flip that for more to get more gems in. Good luck with getting the drops, but at least when it comes to speculating on the price of something going up, it's very likely that we're still in the very early stages of Vivi and Vivi's adding tens of thousands of new users every single day. And we're likely gonna see all of the collectibles across the board go up, but there's gonna be some going up more than others and at specific points in times more than others. And being able to determine what those times are, what those catalysts are that are causing those pieces to go up at certain times will really help you in buying low and selling high, getting more gems into your wallet and building collectibles in your vault to continue this process. Once again, sticking with what you know is going to help you in the long run with this. Now I'm by no means an expert in this. I'm just getting started on Vivi. I'm just learning about what I'm doing here. And I've luckily seen a good run up in January and late December of certain collectibles in my vault, which has really helped me. But we've seen that across the board. And I'm looking towards the future with what movies are coming out, what TV shows are coming out, how that's gonna help me. I've got a Groot in my vault and I know that there's a Groot TV show, animated TV show coming out. And I know that there's a Guardians of the Galaxy movie coming out, so I'm gonna hopefully see that Groot go up in value over time, as well as there's a Batman movie. So what Batman characters are there gonna be in that movie? And what collectibles are within my grasp to be able to purchase with the gems that I have in hopes that when that movie comes out, maybe it does really good. And we see certain characters that the audience grabs a hold of and then comes to Vivi and wants that collectible in their vault. So my thought process behind keeping track of this news coming out for TV shows and movies being announced and when they're coming up and keeping track of that to go out and pursue these collectibles on Vivi is that when these things are announced, the interest in those characters go up and therefore people are more likely to go out and purchase them. As well as when that actual theatrical release or TV show is released, then again, that interest in that character will also go up, leading to people to seek out those collectibles and to purchase them. That increase in demand with no increase in supply causes the pricing to go up on those. Now, whether that's a character like Groot who has two movies, a third one coming out and a TV show based solely around him showing me that this is a character that is loved, is enjoyed, and is enjoyed by a mass audience. It's a character that I should be stocking up on. Or whether it's a character like Ben Riley's Spider-Man who has not been in a theatrical release, the masses do not know about him, but when he is and in a movie like Across the Spider-Verse, which appeals to a broad audience, that could be enough to cause his demand to also increase. Or whether it's a character like Catwoman, who we haven't seen in a long time in a theatrical release and whose audience could be drawn to her in this movie if it proves to be a really good movie, The Batman, coming out very soon in March. This could cause the demand of that collectible to skyrocket. This is my reasoning behind looking for those collectibles with movies, TV shows, other content and other forums coming out around them because it'll cause the mass audiences to become more interested in that character more than before and seek them out over that certain period of time. That's what I'm hoping to do with sticking with what I know on this app. I hope this video helped you. I hope this content helped you in some way, shape, or form. And if it does, or even if it doesn't, and you want to still support, hit that like button for me. I really appreciate anything that you do in the comment section, letting me know about your thoughts on what I've said in this video, if this video has helped you, if it was just repeated content, whatever it might be, comment section below. Would love to hear from you and subscribe if you want more from this channel. Thank you for watching.